Hi guys, welcome to Octavia Beauty and I am Octavia. Today on the channel, we're going to be doing a full face of drugstore. Yep, full face of drugstore. It's been so long since I use a lot of my drugstore products. It's been so long since I've done a full face of drugstore. I typically am not shopping in the drugstore range anymore. But however, I still have tons of drugstore products in my collection that I use that are my favorite products that I use all the time. But I'm just not doing a full face of those products. I may be using one product over here, one product over there. And so I just wanted to sit down and just bring you a collection, a full face of drugstore. So if you guys want to see the items that I use to create this beautiful, beautiful look. And, <laughs> you know, just keep on watching. And we're going to get jump right on into it. I'm going to talk a little bit at the end of the video. I'm going to go over some of the products I use. And we're just going to, let's just vibe out. Let's just, let's just do this. Some of these products are so good. They're so good. And so I'm just happy that I have some of these in my collection. And that I'm able to bring you guys a full face of drugstore makeup. So I do have two drugstore primers, the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Primer, and then we also have the uh, the Elf Putty Primer. Um, but I threw this away before, um, and I repurchased this when I was on the road when I was looking for a primer. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I have a lot of stuff at home. So I just picked this up. But I think I'm going to use this one even though it may be past its prime because I've had this quite a while. And throw this in the giveaway. Um, if you guys did not know, I am decluttering. And I do have a lot of stuff decluttering and just cleaning out a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use. So I do have a lot of skincare stuff and just a lot of stuff that has never been open and that i'm not going to use and i'm just going to throw those items into a giveaway for you guys and you know if you get something you don't like you can always gift it to someone else or you know throw it away do whatever you want with it but i'm still gathering up items to go into the giveaway so i do think this elf putty primer is going to actually go into the giveaway Lots of people love it. It's a holy grail product for a lot of people. It's my Norfi, my Morphe 35D Desert Bouquet Palette. I remember me and Cassandra used this palette on our live, and I thoroughly enjoyed this palette, and it worked really, really well. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. So I'm gonna go into the first shade. It's gonna be Mud Mask. This shade right here. I'm gonna take this above the crease zone and just blend out. Putting some color up there. I don't want this to take a long, long time. So let's just get on in it. I'm going to take the shades um, I want to go with the shade Rock On which is this shade right here and take that in my crease since this was a palette switch up I might be switching up the look I wanted to do. It's a deep shade, but I'm not afraid of it. I'm just going to take a light hand because I wanted a deep brown, but it doesn't necessarily have a deep brown. So this is Plant Zeddy. Uh, first, I'm going to pack it on and then I'm going to blend it out.
Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade. I think it's Adobe. It's this light cream shade here. These shades are not just appearing like they do on the palette on the camera, but it's a more beigey cream shade. I wonder if I swatch it if you guys could see it a little bit better. See if we can get it to focus. Kinda. And just take that on the inner. So I am going to take my finger and I'm going to go into the shade Sand Dunes, just this shimmer shade here. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off the other eye off camera. I'll be right back. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking. You got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room. So that you can get to be the big spoon Call me up in a minute 
Is it just something you say? Or is it the same? With that girl you texting when I look away Cause in the echo of your silence Okay guys, I am back with the final look of today. How do you guys like it? Um, I did a full face to drug, so I'm not gonna lie, like I struggled to find like what's considered drugstore was not considered drugstore like i use the p louise base i don't know if p louise is cons considered um drugstore or not but and then also like when it came down to my mascara i used the wonder beauty high mild club mascara i definitely don't think this is considered drugstore but however i use drugstore falsies so you really can't even see my real lashes and I don't think I have a drugstore mascara in my collection. Um, there are a couple of things. The Morphe 3D Desert Bouquet palette. I think this palette is beautiful. And it's still beautiful and still stunning. It's not my favorite palette. But it is a really good palette for the price point. And it does what it's supposed to do. But you know, I did... I was like struggling of course with my first palette choice was the Maybelline palette I didn't really like how it came out and so I did struggle a little bit with my palette choice I started second guessing myself thinking maybe I should have used a Juvia's Place palette or something else there was some products in here that I used that were my very first time using um the True Complexion Contour palette by black radiance oh my goodness like this thing is so good to be drugstore i know this has been out for some time and a lot of people have it i picked this up on the road and just like one day i was needing some makeup i didn't want to go pay a lot of money at sephora i picked this up and i never got a chance to use this i didn't get a chance to use a lot of that drugstore makeup i purchased but this this thing right here is so good. The contour and the highlighter is so beautiful. I didn't use the sculpt in it, but like this palette is, this thing is so good to be drugstore. I forgot, like I have the medium to dark version of it. I forgot the price point, but I did pick this up at Target, but man, this is really a good product. Um, I used it for the first time the the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder. And I really enjoyed it. It's like so soft and so silky. Almost to the point where it's like, you know, is it too soft? Is it too silky? Is it too fine for what I'm trying to accomplish? Is it going to be matte enough because it felt so silky? But I really enjoyed it. My black opal contour sticks. I've had these for a while. I really feel like that these two products are great. Like they are, in my opinion, for the everyday girl. For the girl who is um for the girl who is wanting something that is light coverage. I do think they are light to so medium coverage that you can build them up. It's for the girl who wants to go into I think I got these from Walmart who wants to pick up and put on a foundation. And it's smooth and creamy and you can still see your skin underneath I think the most average people who are beginning in makeup they don't want that full coverage look they want to be able to see their skin they want to still resemble themselves and I feel like these foundation sticks are great at that like you can pick these up you should be able to find these in every hopefully over the spectrum it I'm um, hopefully the shade range covers everybody but i do feel like they are a good buy and they are going to cover you they're going to give you that everyday coverage that you want that you still look like yourself that you're not you don't feel like the makeup just caked on as for this elf blush that i use it's um always rosy and it's one of elf's primer infused brush um blushes and it works so beautiful um 
it looked beautiful it worked beautiful there was no problems out of it my NYX lippy that I use, I use the NYX Shine Loud and Global Citizen. And this is hands down one of my favorite lippies to use. Um, I love the shade and I love this concept of it. And sometimes I use it with a liner, sometimes a lip liner, sometimes I want. And I just really feel like you can't go wrong with this. If you have not tried this, you really need to pick it up. How you apply it is you apply the the lipstick portion of it first and then you let that dry down and then you go over it with the shine and then you get this beautiful shine that i have here look i got a strong console going on today baby she she deep okay so this is just i keep this right here because it's one of my favorite formulas and it's one of my favorite products to use um I, i'm trying to think was there anything else new that i use oh the putty the f putty bronzer i think this is a a decent contour shade um i feel like this shade i mean i don't I, I don't feel like i have i that i got a deep enough shade for my skin tone but i do feel like it was smooth and blended out okay it wasn't as creamy and as smooth as my chanel but it blended out okay and i do feel like for this to be like almost my skin tone complexion really i really didn't get a lot of pigment from this and i was trying to build it up and you know i struggled with it just a little bit but i do feel like it's a good product if you're in the market for a cream bronzer and you want to try this one i think it'll be okay if you get like a deep enough shade i think the fact that the shade wasn't deep enough was the issue with that I had with it was just the shade right with just the shade that I chose myself but the product I feel like was a good product but it was not if I had to compare it to my favorite one which is the Chanel it's not up there with Chanel but for a drugstore product the product does work fairly well um that's just my two cents on that and a lot of the other products you guys have already seen me use multiple times um the l'oreal paris <laughs> um probe spray and set the makeup is then a prolonging um this right here used to be my jam when it first came out this was like the only setting spray that i used so i think it went on sale one day i was like i picked up a bigger size of this for the nostalgia of it and i just love like the it did it was not matte but just like the radiance like it just gave my it just made my makeup so much more beautiful and just so much more flawless when i spray my face with this and so i've always loved this product i still love this product and if you haven't tried it see if you can get a mini size a smaller size of it and just give it a chance so you know i just wanted to sit down and film this video full face or drugstore and just to see if i can do it with drugstore i've gotten away from using drugstore and i was watching the panel um i forget that the facebook they did a Facebook Live on like luxury and brands and they got some conversations about drugstore and stuff like that. So I just really wanted to sit down and I still have like enough stuff in my collection that I can sit down and do a full face of drugstore. But I don't typically buy drugstore products anymore. And a lot of it is just because, um, I don't know, like the shadows are just not up there you know they're just not up there like some of the products are just not up like once you get good stuff that's just up there like some of the stuff is up there but like it's just not what i have grown to love but um they do drugstore does have really great products and i don't want to isolate my channel and say oh we're only doing high-end products oh i'm only doing luxury products because that's not who i am I use drugstore products. I have a lot of drugstore products that's on my shelf that I use on a daily, but I just don't just sit down and just film a full face of drugstore. So that was the purpose of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm going to talk to you later. Bye-bye.